Once in China, they believed that an eclipse was caused by an invisible dragon eating the sun. They believed that if they created a great commotion with the drummers drumming and archers shooting arrow in the sky, the dragon would be frightened away and daylight would return. And the Japanese ones believed that poison drops from the sky during an eclipse. To prevent the poison from the dropping into the air drinking water, they covered all the worlds during an eclipse. Here the chapter, the sun, the moon and the earth. We are going to study the reality behind the eclipse. Like the earth, the moon also has axial and orbital motions. The moon, while rotating around itself, revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. As a result, through the moon does not revolve around the sun independently. Indirectly, it makes revolutions around the sun. The time it takes to make one revolution around the earth and one rotation around itself is the same. That is why we constantly see one and same side of the moon. The moon orbit of the revolution is elliptical as that of the earth. Hence, the distance of the moon from the earth is not the same everywhere along its orbit while revolving. When it is closer to the earth, it is said to be in perigee and when it is farthest, the position is called apogee. You have studied the face of the moon. You know how it waxes from new moon day to full moon day and how it wants from full moon to new moon day. We see the face of the moon in the sky from the earth. They are illuminated portion of the moon. They become visible due to the sunlight reflected from the moon. While revolving around the earth, the moon is on the opposite side of the sun on a full moon day. Whereas on a new moon day, it is positioned between the sun and the earth. On the first and the third quarter day, the moon, the earth and the sun make an angle of 90 degree. At this position, we see half the portion of the illuminator moon. Hence, the sky it appears semicircular in shape. The orbit path of the earth and that of the moon are not in the same plane. The moon's revolutionary orbit make an angle about 5 degree with that of the earth. As a result, the moon intersects the plane of the earth orbit twice during one revolution. On each new moon day, the line joining the earth and the sun and the moon make an angle of zero degree whereas on each full moon day. This angle is of 180 degree. Even so, the sun, the earth and the moon may not be in one straight line in the same plane on every new moon day or full moon day. Hence, Eclipse do not occur on each new moon or full moon day. However, sometimes on a new moon day or a full moon day, the three fall in one line and are in the same plane. Eclipse occur on such occasion. Eclipses may be solar or lunar. If the moon is between the sun and the earth, the shadow of the moon fall on the earth. At such a time, these three celestial objects are on the same plane and fall in one line. Hence, the plane of the earth where the moon's shadow falls experience a solar eclipse. This shadow is of two types. The central portion of the shadow is darker and the periphery is light. In the area of dark shadow on the earth, the sun becomes completely invisible. This condition is known as total solar eclipse. However, during the same period, at the place where the shadow is lighter, the sun disk appear partially covered. This condition is described as partial solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse is seen in a very limited region on the earth. Lunar eclipse occur when the moon enters the shadow of the earth while revolving around it. At this time, it is necessary that the earth is between the sun and the moon and all three of them are in same plane. On a full moon day, the moon path of the revolution passes through the thick shadow of the earth. If the moon is totally hidden within the shadow, 
we see a total lunar eclipse and if only a part of the moon is in the shadow we see a partial lunar eclipse a solar eclipse occur on a new moon day but not on every new moon day if and only if the sun and the moon and the earth are in the same plane and fall in one line the solar eclipse occur the maximum duration of total solar eclipse is 7 minute and 20 second a lunar eclipse occur on a full moon day but not on every full moon day a lunar eclipse occur if and if only the sun the moon and the earth are in the same plane and fall in one line the maximum duration of total lunar eclipse is 107 minutes A solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse is just an astronomical event. There is nothing auspicious or inauspicious about this event. It is just a result of the sun, the earth and the moon being the specific positions. There is a lot of curiosity about the eclipse because an eclipse is not a regular occurrence. For scientists working in the field of astronomy, eclipse and particularly total or annual solar eclipse presents great opportunity for study scientists from all over the world make it a point to visit the location where such event are going to occur they carry out elaborate study of eclipse conditions during the period of solar eclipse a large number of birds and animals get confused due to the untimely darkness that set in as this is an event that does not suit their biological clock their response to the event is also unusual like eclipse some other specific conditions occur with reference to the sun or the moon these are called occultation and transit respectively occultation occur with reference to the moon whereas the transit is associated with the sun occultation is a typical event occurring in space the moon revolves around the earth while doing so it obscures a star or a planet and that celestial body appears to hide behind the moon this is called occultation the total solar eclipse is actually a kind of occultation during this the sun disk get hidden completely because of the moon If an inner planet like Mercury or Venus come in between the line of the earth and the sun a transit occur at that time a small dot appear to move across the sun disk transit is a type of solar eclipse